Hello scholars and welcome back to Writing with Miss Kickins. We are now on day 39 of writing. I'm waiting for my, however, my computer is just being a little slow today, so just bear with me. Now, last week we were talking about our persuasive pieces when we were trying to get someone to do something thing, or change their mind. And that's when we were talking about recycling, the coronavirus, <clears throat> and our farm animals. We are now entering in a new unit. All right, so as I was saying, we are now on day 39 of writing. Way to go, guys. You've been working so hard. I am so proud of you all, all of the hard work you've been doing. Okay. Now, before we go into our mini lesson, you know, I draw stories first to remember exactly who was there, what the person was doing, and the sequence. So, sequence means in order. Okay, so first, second, third, last. I record events in sequence across the pages of a booklet. So you're going to be starting a new book today. Here are the common core standards for this unit. You will be using a combination of drawing, dictating, and writing to narrate a single event or several loosely linked events, tell about the events in order in which they occurred, and provide a reaction to what happened. So this is for parents to understand what core, um, common core standard your kid is going to produce within this unit and after the unit. I'm just trying to find my little mouse. My computer is. Here are the writing materials you will need for. Of course, like always, you need your writing piece of paper, whether the one that I've uploaded on Google Classroom for this assignment, a plain piece of paper at home, notebook paper, as long as you have a box for your picture and some lines that you could write on, your pencil or some pencils, just in case your pencil breaks, some crayons, and your illustrated rubric checklist that I have attached to this assignment. All right, little happy writers. So. As you already know from writing about your true stories, we always write to tell a story, okay? So in our narrative pieces, it's just like storytelling. When we were telling our true stories, we take something that was very important to us and we tell a story about it, okay, across the pages. So here is an anchor chart of, our, of how you can write a personal narrative. So you want to first make sure that you focus a moment from your life. So something that happened to you where you can actually tell a story in sequence, in order. You want to write it the same way you would tell it to someone. We always, as writers, we always write as if we're talking to someone. However, we're writing on a piece of paper. You want to start with a catchy lead, like your hook. And I definitely will show you how to do that in my writing. You want to use details to tell who, what, when, where, and why. You want to have a beginning, middle, and ending. And you can also use transition words like first, next, then, and last. I will also upload this onto Google Classroom for this assignment so that you can have it right next to you when you are writing your personal narrative. having a little difficulties with my computer. Okay, so here are some questions you should ask yourself when you are writing. What happened first? Next and last. And why do you want to tell this story? To make sure that you answer that question because the reason why you want to tell that story is going to be the reason why your readers want to read that story. All right, little happy writers. Now let's see if I can get you to my writing. 
computer been acting no get into the Kami app. Yeah, it's taking some time to load up. So narrative. Any faster. So I'm, I wrote a personal narrative about my birthday. And I will take a picture of the uh, example and I will post it on to Google Classroom so that you can see exactly what I did to start my personal narrative. However, I want to make sure. Okay. And there I had a picture of a birthday cake. And I labeled my birthday cake because you always label your pictures for your readers to know what's happening in your pictures. And I just went on talking about what happened during my birthday. It was there, order, so that my readers can know that what happened. Then and then lastly. And that's what you need to be doing today. And you're writing your person, personal narrative. You can talk about whatever you want to talk about. It doesn't have to be a specific topic. It's about your experience in your writing. Okay, whatever happened in your lifetime, I want that to go in your writing. Um, I don't know what I'm doing this. Can you write just... <clears throat> I'm just going to read it right off of my lesson. You have to. So today your mission is to write at least one story that has really happened to you. You need to write like an author and make sure your story has a beginning, middle, and ending. Your criteria for success, in order to be successful, you will think of a true story to write, and you will begin to write about that true story. I'm going to actually stop this now, because I don't want it to interrupt our lesson and our flow of our lesson. So as you know, after your have to, you are going through your free write, and you are writing about whatever it is that you want to write about. And when you're done with that, you are all set with writing. So for day 40 of writing, Happy writing, little writers. Make sure to use your illustrated rubric to help guide your writing, focusing on I have capital letters for the beginning of each sentence. Have a great day.